like covering getting. You want to talk about nineties hip hop or something? No, I just no, I didn't mean it that way. I just yeah, like no, I hope any chair. Are you guys affiliated with any charities or anything oh my like God, that? Yes, please. Okay. That's why I thought I'd ask. Okay. No, you can talk about. You can ask me whatever you want. Which but, member um, of the Wu Tang is most kawaii? <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to cover my music briefly, if possible. That yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. I just thought you guys might have like charities or new upcoming projects that you guys might want to cover. Yeah, that's that's all. Hey, appreciate cool. it. Sorry to uh, <laughs> make light of it. <laughs> <laughs> glad you. Uh, ahead, glad you both of you guys were here, by the way. Thanks. Let's start with that. Yeah, go ahead. You, you need the mic or no? Uh, yeah, okay, that'd, cool. that'd be helpful. Um, yeah, so I released an album uh, called The Picture of Every Hollywood Heartbreak back in, in August, my debut. I uh, went on tour for it with Nate Wants to Battle across the Midwest and the West Coast. and It's uh, it's very theatrical. We call it theatrical all, but it's got elements of rock, pop, hip-hop, um, musical theater in it. Uh, it's definitely, I can, I can say it's very stylized in its own thing. It's very near and dear and personal to me, and I wrote all of it. And, uh, yeah, we're actually working on some new material, a sort of an epilogue to that. And Is there a website as far as the actual... Is, yeah, I'm yeah. at ZachCallison.com. My social media is just at ZachCallison, Z-A-C-H-C-A-L-L. Cool. -O -N. And um, I'm on Spotify and Apple Music and all that. You can check it out on there. That's awesome, man. Thanks. Absolutely. Um, with, with what you do with Steven Universe and stuff like that, do you have any... Do you have any suggestions on how people, and it's really hard to get into voice acting, right? Sure. So do you have any suggestions on how people can actually start to get into voice acting with, like, career-wise, on, uh, like, what, what, the, what the best suggestion would be? It sounds like a joke, but uh, I want to be a voice actor .com. Okay. It's really that blunt, but uh, T. Bradley Baker, legendary voice actor, made that because he got asked by so many people at conventions and such how to do it. That's, that's the easy, you know, place to point to, but my, my personal... Thing. And this applies to on camera acting, theater acting, whatever it is, but especially prevalent in voiceover for me is um, play characters, not voices. Okay. Uh, there's a common misconception that doing voiceover for cartoons is just uh, doing goofy cartoon voices and you know making noises and, and stuff. And uh, th there has to be just as much of a fleshed out character and a methodical process behind it um, as any other form of performing or medium. Um, and there, there's going to be no depth to your character or depth to your voice if you don't have a character backing that up. And then the same question goes for Sean. Um, do you have any, like, based on the work that you've done and stuff like that, do you have any references to, like, maybe the best experience you've had working on set? Hmm. Wow, that's a, uh, let's see, how do I narrow that down? I, well, first of all, I really... I didn't uh, mean to make it too broad, but... Because I'd like to break into voice acting. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I say that as a joke because it is incredibly hard to, to get into voice acting. And I, I know from, I, I, like, it's always the craziest thing when, it, when people say to me, like, uh, or, or other actors that I know, they'll say, like, you should try voice acting. And it's like as though you can just sign up somewhere and do it. It's strangely, <laughs> it's strangely cultish. Yeah, Sorry, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I know, I know it's hard. Um, but uh, I don't know. Um, in terms of being on set, like, um, well, what, what do you mean exactly? <laughs> like just a really impactful experience for yourself. For you, you know, where you really just thought, I, that was amazing well, based on what you kind of do with, uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy or... Any of, any of the stuff that you do? I think that the most impactful things for me have been things that struck me personally as well as professionally. So, like being on, on visiting the set of Guardians of the Galaxy, the first Guardians in London, is, is probably the, the most memorable moment I've had in my career so far, just because it was, you know, my brother was there and the, 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 so many of the sets were, were practical sets that were actually built. We weren't we weren't in front of a green screen um, to a very large degree. We had our, our sets built. So um, to like walk in and see those sets, um, particularly after I had had a little lull in my career, I had a couple of like kind of um, tough years before getting that job and then going out there and seeing that was amazing. Um, uh, you know, as, as far as the work itself, like things I've done, um, I, I, I don't know, it's hard to pick things out. I think of my career as a continuous process. Um, it's funny, I, I just came from, I was talking to some high school kids a little earlier today, I paid a visit to some drama students and I was talking to them about, about starting and I, and I just, you know, it, it seems like you've got these big things that are these touchstones, like, oh, 
Gilmore Girls, Guardians, you know. But to me, it's been a very slow, steady progression um, of work from one thing to the next. And I've always, I just always focus on the work rather than the whatever comes from it, you know. I get, uh, do you have any advice to offer the new filmmakers that are just now coming out? Um, just personal experiences that you've gone through that maybe you would have advice to? The first piece of advice I always give is finish what you start. Um, it sounds simple, but it's the number one hardest thing to do for people who are in creative fields and who are who you know aspire to do things creatively. Like anyone can have an idea for a screenplay or a movie or whatever, or, or try to get going, but to actually finish it is actually harder than in some ways than 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 making it good, you know? It's like once you finish it, then you've got something and you're done and you have something to learn by and something to move on to from there. Um, I would Everybody start has that. good concepts and ideas. That they can, yeah. But can they write them? Yeah, yeah. And that's something I've learned from my brother, too, is that people say, oh, I have a great idea for a screenplay. And it's like anybody can have a great idea for a screenplay. It's anybody. True. Almost no one can actually write a good screenplay. Yes, sir. Um, and so that's, I think, a, a good thing to, to know. Uh, I have the same question for, for you as well. Do you have any advice to offer, like, as far as, because you've done, you've, as much as that sounds like a repetitive question, you know, you're working on a comedy skit right now, correct? Yeah, that's, that's on hold, actually, because, like you said, it's really hard to finish what you start. Um, yeah, because I, I Whether mean, it's, you know, creative differences, uh, business issues, legal yeah. issues. I, I learned a lot about um, working with yeah. lawyers in the entertainment industry because yeah. of that project. And it's, it's definitely not dead. It's called the Zach Allison Show. And um, it's, it's definitely near and dear to my heart and part of my plans for the next couple of years. Uh, but I, that was my first time really diving into a project with some new people, some friends. You know, run and gun shooting, like trying to make something really ambitious happen. And we, we shot a lot. We shot 18 digital shorts for it and uh, before the wheels kind of fell off on the business end. And um, I learned so much from it. It was my first time uh, writing screenplays. It was my first time directing. Um, and I, I think we got some really good stuff for what it was worth. It's just a matter of um, getting a different production team around it with a little more wisdom and experience in the next couple of years. Yeah, and that's mainly why I ask is because the, the comedy show that you're coming out with uh, yeah, at some point. I, I will finish it. I, I'll take your advice. But I I, <laughs> Looking forward to watching it when it does come out, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. I've got a million of those. I, no one t needs to take that advice more than myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're both St. Louis uh, guys. Yeah. Zach, sh surely Sean has confided in you all the secrets to Avengers 4 that he can't <laughs> say publicly to everyone else at this point. Yeah, totally, Sean. Can you write those down for me again? Yeah. Just, uh, just remember to say thanks. Right. <laughs> Uh, are you allowed to talk about any of the upcoming stuff that you guys are doing? Any new projects, any, any new movies, stuff like that that you're able to cover? It's hard to, yeah. I know, it's like, I, I, I actually just got, I, I just got cast in a movie that I'm starting in February. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it or not, I think so. It's a, it's a, it's a really cool script from a young, young filmmaker that I'm going to go uh, shoot in the Pacific Northwest in, uh, in February. I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm not sure the title's going to stay, so I'm not going to, but... Um, well, you don't have to release the title. Uh, yeah. Feel free to talk about it if you, if you like to. Um, it's just a, it's a cool, um, it's kind of a throwback horror thriller, um, mm -hmm. and it's, um, but it's, it's very grounded, it's very character-based, which is what I, I look for. Um, I think, you know, a very, uh, I read a large percentage of horror scripts, and I read very few that I actually like, and this one I thought was really good, so I'm, I'm happy to be doing it. I can't wait to, to dive in. Well, I'll keep my eye out for it. I, um, I'm working with DreamWorks Animation for something um, exciting, but I, I can't really say much other than that, but that'll be okay. relatively soonish. Well, we don't want to break any contractual laws or any agreements that you guys have made with those, those companies. We just... We wanted to make sure to cover that if you guys wanted to cover that. I would be the one breaking the law, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, and yeah, and, and I do believe we'll, I do believe Guardians Three will get made. Um, I do not know when. Um, we I'm I'm hoping for some kind of news on that soon, but um, we really don't know right now. Yes, sir. I'm ready for it. Thanks. <laughs> guys, do you have any other? I don't want to. I'm good. Actually, if I can steal you guys now. Yeah. Would it be okay if we get a quick picture just for what we're doing? 